ஹலோ சில்ட்ரன் குட் மார்னிங் ஆல் அண்ட் வெல்கம் டு திஸ் இயர் கிளாஸ் சித்தி பேட் வித்யாமித்ரா யூடியூப் சேனல் ஐம் டி ஜோதி சிஆர்டி இங்கிலீஷ் கேஜிபிவி அக்கன் பேட் டுடே ஐ வில் லைக் டு ரிவைஸ் கொஷின் டேக்ஸ் வித் யூ கொஷின் டேக்ஸ் கேன் ரீப்ளேஸ் சிம்பிள் எஸ் நோ கொஷின்ஸ் பட் தே கேன் ஆல்சோ ரீஇன்போஸ் த ஸ்டேட்மெண்ட் தட் யூ ஜஸ்ட் மேட் அண்ட் கெட் த லிஸ்னர்ஸ் டு அக்ரி வித் யூ பட் எண்ட் ஆஃப் திஸ் வீடியோ You will have a clear idea of how to formulate question tags and how to use that. So, will you ready? Okay, we will begin. Question tags. Let us see what is a question tag is. A short question is added to the end of your statement to change it into a yes no question. Question tags are formed with the auxiliary question. or model verb form the statement and the appropriate subject for example it's lunch time the question tag is isn't it it is not raining is it notice that when the statement is positive the tag is negative and when the statement is negative the statement is the tag is positive also notice that the negative tag is in contracted form isn't it it's possible to you the form for form isn't is it not peculiar sound to former so keep it to the contractions now like ordinary complete questions question tags are formed with the right auxiliary so it's important to review the auxiliaries for each type of statements let's do that now so let's look at the formulation of question tags for statements where you can see the auxiliaries in the positive statements the first group is a verb to be and the present and the past continuous tense for example she is walking isn't she and the negative statement she isn't walking is she second example is were late or aren't we we aren't late are we we aren't late aren't we we aren't late are we he was angry wasn't he he wasn't angry was he and the last example in this group they were lying weren't they they went lying were they the next group where you can see the auxiliary in the statement is sentences with will and uh, modal verbs for example you'll be there won't you and the negative statement is you won't be there will you i can go can't i i can't go can i it could happen couldn't it it couldn't happen could it we should say shouldn't we shouldn't say should we he must exercise must and he he must and exercise must he the next group where we can see the auxiliary in the statement is the present and past perfect tenses let's have a look at the examples they finish haven't they and in the negative statement they haven't finished have they 
she has done it hasn't she she hasn't done it has she you had seen him hadn't you you hadn't seen him had you right now listen at the statements where you cannot see or can't see the auxiliaries in the past statement this includes sentences the present and the past simple tenses for example they live in spain don't they they don't live in spain do they she always smiles doesn't she she never smiles does she notice that the word never creates a negative sentence and the therefore requires a positive tag and the last sentence in the past simple tense it snowed didn't it it didn't snow did it now one word to be careful of the is the verb to have and of course to have to show an application it can use these verb on their own or you can add the verb got to them if you use them on their own you need to bring the auxiliary to make you tag let's have a look they have a car don't they in the negative you can already see the auxiliaries they don't have a car do they now if you use the word get or got with these expressions you'd end up with sentences like this they've got a car and this time you can use the word have as your auxiliary they have got a car haven't they they haven't got a car have they let's look at the example with the verb to have to to show an application you can say he has to work doesn't he or he doesn't have to work does he if you add, add the word got into the sentence and say he is got to work then the tax becomes hasn't he and in the negative sentence he hasn't got to work has he has got to work hasn't he he hasn't got to work has he there are three special tags we should locate before we finish with formulation the first form is the tag that follows the expression let's when you make a suggestion with let's if you want to add tag you shall we let's begin shall we even if your sentence is negative the tag remains shall we let's not rush shall we the next special tag is a tag after giving an order or making a respect for example you could say do me a favor or do me a favor please the tag follows will you even if your statement is negative like don't forget the letter or don't forget that letter please the tag is again will you and the final special tag you need to aware of is the tag that we use with the verb to be with the pronoun i when the sentence positive because you need the verb 
am doesn't have a negative construction or contractions am so we use anti am right anti you can use the for for but you will to form as an i mentioned before am right am i right am i not for the negative statement the tag is am i as you expected i am not right am i well that's all for formulation we can move on to usage as i said first usage of question tag is the formulation of a simple yes no questions but in this case you have to use a rising intonation let's look at some examples you haven't seen my key have you is the same as saying have you seen my key you are expect either s yes or no answer no i haven't or s yes, i have it is over there let's look at another example she is coming isn't she is the same as i asking a question is she coming again you expect either us or no answer is she is or no she isn't let's look at the third example he works in a hospital doesn't he does he work in a hospital you will expect as or no he does or no he doesn't now the second usage of a question tag it is a reinforce a statement you have made and get agreement from the listeners in this case you need to use a falling intonation let's look at the some examples you haven't slept very well haven't you no i had a terrible night last night another example is she is really friendly isn't she yes she is so nice to everyone another example he drives too fast doesn't he yes he is dangerous driver right then let's have a look at common mistakes the most common mistake is using a simple no or isn't it as a general tag for all kinds of statements this is possible in some languages but not in english you need to formulate the correct tag let's have a look you might hear it's cold no it's cold no the correct tag is it's cold isn't it the next one you have a curl isn't it the correct tag is you have a curl don't you and another common mistake is using a positive tag after a positive sentence and the negative tag after a negative sentence for example they haven't arrived haven't they as you have learned because the sentence is negative the tag is has to be positive they haven't arrived have they or we never go out don't we now remember 
that never creates a negative statement. Therefore, the tag has to be positive. We never go out, do we? And the final example, he knows his subject, doesn't he? He knows is positive. So, your tag is has to be negative. He knows his subject, doesn't he? Now, one important thing to be aware of is that it's possible to use a positive tag after the positive sentence in every specific cases because a positive tag after the positive sentence spoken with a specific intonation can indicate a strong emotion or method such as, such as anger or sarcasm. For example, if we take the last sentence to be or be corrected, he knows his object, does he? And we we'll correct it to, he knows his subject, doesn't he? It was circus. He knows his subject, doesn't he? It's a sarcasm. We really don't believe that he does. Another example is, they want to fire me, do they? The speaker has written this way, it means the speaker, he or she is very angry. Now, these are very specific usages I would recommended you have a go I just speak aware of their existence thank you one and all